السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ناؤ دا ڈفرینس بٹوین اسلام اینڈ کرسچینٹی از مینی فولڈ فرسٹ آف آل دا کرسچن ڈاکٹرین آف اے ٹرائیون گاڈ ایوالوڈ اوور ٹائم اپ ٹل دا فورتھ سینچری اے ڈی وین دا چرچ کاؤنسل آف نائسیا ڈکلیئر دا فادر جیزز اینڈ آرک انجل گیبریل علیہ السلام ٹو پیس بی اپ آلم ٹو بی تھری ایکولس ون ٹرائیون گاڈ دا Islamic doctrine is that of Tawheed, where we believe in one supreme being with no analogy in might, appearance and knowledge. Now the scriptures of Christianity is the Bible and the Quran for, the, for Islam. In the Quran, the narrative is very streamlined that the first community was that of the Muslims who believed in one God with no analogy, the doctrine of the Tawheed and they deviated and started taking for themselves different deities of stones and so God sent multiple messengers to bring them ba- back to the straight and true path. To, uh, while in, in the Bible, the narrative of, Tawhe- monothe- of a monotheistic religion is non-existent. The Prophet Islam in the Bible exist and they lead their lives and that's all there is. The only example of a monotheistic aspect in both Christianity and Judaism exists only in the, in the first book of the Old Testament where God, one God created the heavens and the earth and Adam and Islam and when he sinned, God repented, re- repented. creating Adam and cursed him and his children. So you see, even from the first chapter of the first book of the Bible, polytheistic aspects do seep in, which is consistent with the narrative of the Quran that there is the harif in the Bible, that it has been changed by the people over time. Another point of contention between Christianity and Islam is that our scripture along with the traditions of the Prophet ﷺ, Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, is completely and utterly preserved and the manuscripts that, ancient manuscripts that we have do date back to the life of Prophet Muhammad ﷺ and there is a whole academic consensus to it. As compared to the Bible which is a mess, the oldest manuscripts, the Codex Sinaiticus and all of the Codex Vaticanus They do not do it back to the time of Jesus, only one small manuscript dates back to the first century AD, which is smaller than your average credit card. We don't even know where the Old Testament is from. That those are just New Testaments. Another point, and another point to this is that depending on which denominations of Christianity you are in, you would deem a chunk of the book of the books of the Bible, books, not chapters, books. to be not divine, called Apocrypha. For example, the King James Version of the Bible has 80 books, while the Roman Catholics have 73 books that are considered divine. So you see about seven, seven books considered Apocrypha, seven books, seven, seven books different. Another point of contention between Islam and Christianity as discussed before are the natures of the Prophets and Islam the Prophet's peace be upon him that we especially the ones that we share in the Bible their nature is very ambiguous they are community leaders or something they don't serve a greater purpose of Tawheed like in the Quran they have a purpose to bring their community of polytheistic community to bring them back to the doctrine of Tawheed in the Bible there is a, they, their nature is very ambiguous with many falling into very evil sins like Solomon Prophet Sol- Solomon is falling into the sin of black magic so the Quran is unambiguous that in the nature of the messengers the prophets peace be upon them all that they are meant to be as guides for the mankind as as warners for the day of judgment such are the differences between Christianity and Islam Christianity a polytheistic religion with only a monotheistic delusion while we uphold the true doctrine of Tawheed absolute monotheism, monotheism with one supreme being as God without any analogy in power in knowledge in appearance 
and with Prophet Muhammad being the final messenger.